Hey, I'm T. Washington, winner of the big find on HSN and QVC. They bought my product and it was sold all around the world. Mm -mm, don't laugh, because players cry too. And with all my free time, I started tufting. And on this channel, I'm going to share everything I learned and how you can be successful tufting too. Okay, so we have the cloth laid out, pulled tight, and now it's time to get drawing. And so we're going to break it down. It's 4.30 in the morning, so we're going to do the voiceovers. I put the image onto my tufting cloth, which is already stretched out perfectly. Uh, but one thing. Make sure your image is reversed, flipped horizontally. As you can see, mine wasn't. I had to correct that later on, but that's okay. And the best thing to do is get an image with very strong lines. This image did not have strong solid lines, so I had to keep on going over to my computer and seeing how the lines really are supposed to be because it, it, it just didn't it, it just didn't stand out. Okay, so I drew it on. It was like 4.30 in the morning. And now it's 10.30 and we're going to start tufting all right so everybody does things differently youtube is great you know what i'm saying for to finding videos but so, so certain people do things one way and so i had to find my own way so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start with the eyes you know some this part right here this 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 you know like the lines this black all one color so these kind of areas right here and then i'm gonna work inside out we're gonna do change the color do the white then i'm gonna go around and shape it right this is what i had to learn and so go around and shape it this way when we're ready to go right here with this color it's already looking good it's already looking good and so we're just gonna work inside out let's go shaped it a little bit and now let's add that next color All right, so uh, we got some of the black. We did all the white. I went around and shaped it. Now, I've watched a couple videos when I first started. Some people talk about uh, shaping it. I watched them. I had to figure it out for myself. And now I do my own thing. So basically, I'll do a video upcoming uh, about how, while I'm tufting, after each color, uh, I, I go around and shape the color this way when i do the next thing right next to that color i just shape it'll come in clean and that's what i like it's not, it's not the final one right when i'm done with everything and the rug's almost finished i'll go with the electric scissors and really get them lines right but while i'm tufting i like to hit it with this so i'll do a video about that but right now let's get this rug finished let go voiceover work i just want you to pay attention to how i do my lines so i do my outlines first originally when i first started i was doing one line as an outline but then i said no 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 let me do two so i do one outline around his head a second one around his head one out one around his eyes another one around his eyes then i start going with my straight lines up and down it helps 
and this is how I do my thing. And as I said before, if I'm gonna break down my specifics in different videos, but this one, we just gonna roll through it real quick. Okay, real quick, I I, I, I told you I'd have messed up, okay? I messed up in the beginning. It wasn't flipped horizontally. Now, I just flipped this image. This ain't how it really looks. I just want you to know this. I really messed up. I had to pull out the yarn and everything. I had to go back and recreate the image, but it came out beautifully. You're going to see at the end. You're going to see at the end, but don't be like me. Flip your image. Okay, we're all finished tufting. Now it's time to pull these loose strings out. Sometimes I like to cut them. Other times I like to pull them out. I have a, uh, one of the cut pile guns or whatever you call it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull these out. Just make sure you don't pull out the whole rug on the other side. We don't want that. All right. After that, we're going to glue it. All right. So I'm going to break down that in another video. What kind of glue I use and why I use it and how I use it but right now just real quick slap that thing on there real good slap it on there real good nice and smooth nice even layer make sure you hit all the corners nice and smooth okay so I put the glue on make sure you got it all over it you know what I'm saying spread it around real good uh, it's gonna take about 24 hours to dry then we're gonna come back put that backing on Lego all right now it's time to cut it out cut it out and you're gonna do that about an inch around at least an inch all right from there we're gonna cut these little slits in there it makes it easy to fold over you're gonna see that in other videos i'll break down how i do my thing everybody does it a little different i had to find my own way i've said it before find your own way use these videos to help you then from there we're gonna fold it over fold it over all right nice and easy like Alright, now it's time to use the back end. Sometimes I use the anti-slip, sometimes I don't. The ones with the with the non-anti-slip is much cheaper. And so I started using that, you know, uh, special requests. Uh, I'll use the anti-slip, but if they're not requesting it, I'll go ahead and get that regular stuff. Save some monies. That's what we're here for. Save that monies. You're going to cut it out. Get that glue on there, right? How are we gonna do the glue? We wanna get that edge, get that nice edge. Now some people use the, the tapes and uh, you know edge sealers and man, I just like it just like that. You gotta make it look good just like that, and I, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna show you how I do that on another video. We're gonna break this thing down nice and easy, I like to make this monies. Then we're going to flip it over and cut it out. I like to cut it out at an angle, right? If I cut it out at an angle, then that under, underneath edge is not even going to show. So I'm not really worried about that backing. Ain't nobody worried about no backing. Ain't nobody worried about no backing. Anyway, flip it over. Make sure that thing look kind of good with them edges. Look kind of good to me. People talking to me and bothering me, but that's okay. Then we get that electric scissor, right? Get them lines right. Electric scissor, get the line right and line it up at an angle, right? Get it at an angle, make sure the line's right. We're gonna break that in another video too. Break it. Shave that thing. Now it's time to shave that thing. We're gonna break this down in another video, right? Now I was I was afraid to shave it in the beginning. When I first started, I was afraid to shave it in the beginning, but you can set that level and you'll always use the same level. Don't be afraid to cut low or cut to, to the length that you want. It's not gonna do no damage like that. Alright, so go ahead and get the that shaving right. It's gonna help, I promise you. 
and make sure while you're shaving it when you finish vacuum it up vacuum the rug you be you probably have to do it two or three times with the scissors and the in the, in the in the shaving with the clippers you know make sure you do it a couple different times to make sure you get everything up Whew, that thing looking good all right i like to hit that thing with the regular scissors one more time i'm a, I'm a little ocd with this i ain't gonna lie to you i could have been done a little while ago but i just keep on feeling like man this line's gotta be better your lines could go a little bit better so i'm gonna go ahead and do it you know what i'm saying Boy, that thing look good. That thing look good. Let me get that right there. That thing look good. Okay, so finished the rug, came out clean, took about five and a half hours. Um, didn't go through specifics with this tutorial. Um, in the next few videos, I'll just go specifically on what to do with specific things. But this was just a rundown of how I do things. Um, I didn't show me vacuuming, but after you do everything, vacuum that up. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Love y'all. Gotta go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whatever y'all got to do. Hit me on TikTok at Rough and Rugged. Hit me on Instagram at Rough and Rugged. If you want a rug, hit me up. If you need some advice, hit me up. That's all. Gotta go.